From A to Z, nematodes color our lives. Roundworms, threadworms, pinworms, eelworms, nematodes. Who has heard about them? They are everywhere and there are many of them. Between the sand under the feet while walking along the beach, in the potato garden, in the deep sea, and even in space. Nematodes can be microscopic or giants of meters long. Nematodes are known because of the damage they cause on crops. Toads. They are also pathogens of animals, including humans. Some are useful in biological control, understanding aging process, and measuring soil and water quality. This video introduces you to the diverse world of nematodes and shows you from A to Z why scientists find these little animals fun and interesting. A. Astronauts. When astronauts stay in space for too long, their muscles get weak. This can cause injuries during their mission. A team of scientists decided to take C. elegans to space to learn more about muscle weakness. In February 2003, Shuttle Columbia had a tragic accident. The worms, however, were found alive in crushed aluminum tubes in the Texan desert. Descendants of these worms were sent again to space in 2011. This time, experiment related to muscle weakness had a successful conclusion. B. Beach. Do you find this beach looking empty and even lifeless? Well, appearances can be deceiving. Underneath your bath towel, Little worms wriggle in the sand. In fact, when you build a sand castle, you probably disturb millions of nematodes of different species. C. Compost. Within compost, we have springtails, millipedes, centipedes, and even roundworms. These organisms work together to decompose the waste and store valuable nutrients. A compost bin in your garden is useful because you can turn your garden waste, your vegetable and fruit waste into valuable compost. When you add this compost to the soil, your plants grow much better. It's a great way to recycle, isn't it? D. Deep sea. At the bottom of the sea, there is not a single ray of light. However, there are animals such as luminescent jellyfish, starfish, and fish with big teeth. Also nematodes love it there. With their specialized sense organ, the amphid, they can survive in the dark without eyes. They use it to detect food, friends, and enemies. E. Elephants. Did you know roundworms can make you look like an elephant? Well, the cause of this elephant look is an infection of small parasitic roundworms. These little worms live in our lymphatic vessels and obstruct them, preventing body fluids from escaping. This causes swelling, making our legs look like those of elephants. Crazy, isn't it? F. Fossil. During the dinosaur era, nematodes already existed. We know this because nematodes were captured in resin of prehistoric pine trees. The resin phosphorized and preserved the worms very well. This phosphorized resin is also known as amber. Insects were also captured in the amber and scientists found nematodes in the insects, telling us that in the Jurassic period, nematodes were already parasites of insects. G. GMO 
Genetically modified organisms are animal, plants, or microbes in which scientists put an extra gene on top of all other genes already present in their DNA. In this way, a plant can be better protected against diseases caused by nematodes and other pathogens. H. Hitchhike. Some worms are smart. For example, the pinewood nematodes hitch a ride with beetles to fly from one pine tree to another. The beetles drill little holes in the tree to feed themselves and to lay eggs. Nematodes use these holes to reach the water and food channels in the tree. Beetles thus help nematodes and the disease to spread. Unfortunately, this friendly hitchhike is a danger for pine trees all over the world. I. Insects. Sometimes insects can be very annoying. They drill holes in our fruits and damage trees. Luckily, there are nematodes that help us fight these insects. They enter the larva of the insect and bacteria carried by the little worms multiply in the larva, providing food for the worms. The nematodes also grow further and multiply until there are thousands in the larva, causing it to die. In this way, we can protect crops with living worms without having to use chemical products. This is called biocontrol. J. Jungle. Some worms have a complicated life cycle. An amazing example is that of the nematode Mimiconema that lives in the tropical jungles of South America and likes to reside in bad droppings. These bad droppings are eaten by ants and the nematodes end up in the belly of the ant. Once inside the belly of the ant, the belly starts to swell and changes color from black to bright red, making the ant look like a round red berry. Birds love berries, so they end up eating the ant and spread the parasitic nematodes again in their droppings. In this way, the life cycle of the nematode is completed. K. Okay. Kids. Are your buttocks itching? Maybe you have pinworms. Pinworm infection is very common in kids. The female pinworm lives in human intestines. At night, they lay their eggs near the anus where oxygen is present, necessary for the young pinworms to hatch out of the eggs. The wriggling of the worms causes the buttocks to itch. When you start scratching, the eggs get spread by the fingers to toys. When a kid puts the toy in its mouth, the eggs are swallowed and the infection happens. So kids, wash your hands. L. Love. Every nematode species has its own way to make love. Many species do it like humans. There are males and females who produce the young ones. In other species, you will only find hermaphrodites. These are males and females at the same time and can produce offsprings by themselves. Occasionally, a male can mate with the hermaphrodites after doing a dance to produce young ones. M. Movement. Most nematodes move like a snake. They move in a whip-like, sinusoidal motion, using their bundles of muscles stretching from head to tail. Some are sluggish, but others are extremely quick, making it easy to recognize species by way of movement. A few other nematodes have long appendages like limbs. They use these appendages like stills and move like caterpillars. N. Nobel Prize Six scientists working on C. elegans were awarded three Nobel Prizes in total for the important discoveries made while using this little worm. The roundworm is famous among scientists. The worm has been used to find answers to many questions in the science of life. For example, how does an egg develop into a worm? O. Ocean. The ocean is of priceless importance to people. Unfortunately, tons of waste and toxic products are dumped into the ocean. 
Research on nematodes tells us a lot about the consequences of seabed pollution, as well as demonstrating that nematodes can help get rid of pollution and let the ocean recover. P. Potatoes. We all like fries, baked and mashed potatoes. Did you know that nematodes also like potatoes? Some nematodes can be found in the root and tubers of potatoes, causing the plants to grow poorly. This gives the farmer a smaller harvest with fewer potatoes. A nematode called root knot nematode makes the potato look very unattractive so the farmer cannot sell them. 2. Quarantine A nematode species will end up on a list of quarantine species when it's damaging and dangerous but it's not yet present in a certain country. Some nematode species make plants very sick. Countries will try everything it can to keep the nematodes out. Custom officers use this list when the forestry and agricultural products are imported or exported. Products that contain these nematodes will be returned or destroyed. R. Retriever in a retriever or in any other dog, many nematodes can occur. Often, you do not realize that the dog has these nematodes, but sometimes serious illnesses can occur. Deworm your dog on a regular basis using medicine recommended by animal doctors. Then all those nematodes die and your dog stays alive and healthy. S. Soccer Soccer fields are carefully looked after. If there are very large numbers of nematodes, brown spots appear on the grass as the grass dies, and finally, the soccer field is destroyed. T. Teeth. Little children change their teeth. Nematodes also change their teeth four times before they get the adult teeth. They, however, have different teeth depending with what they eat. Some worms, such as predators, have sharp teeth with which they eat other animals. There are also worms having no teeth at all. They eat tiny bacteria. You, unique. Imagine a beautiful piece of nature having everything in common with nematodes, like a white sandy beach, a shiny blue sea, a swirling river, a vast forest and also plants. It doesn't matter, all these places have one thing in common, nematodes. Vinegar eelworms, free living nematodes that can live in acidic environments like apple vinegar feed on bacteria from apples. Do you like experiments and fancy to try culturing vinegar eels? It's very simple. All you need is vinegar apple, a piece of apple, plastic bottle, and vinegar eelworms. Good luck! For more information, look for recipes in the internet. W. Spam Wheel Do you know about the book about Moby Dick, the White Wheel? In this book, the author describes Moby Dick as a large dangerous spam wheel causing many tragedies at sea. The largest roundworm ever was found in these whales, in the belly of the mother whale. The baby whale and the worm feast on the placenta. X. Xiphenema, worms with a tooth-like sword. This feature made scientists to choose this name for this worm. With this tooth, they pierce into plants to feed and carry viruses that are transmitted to plants. Plants become very sick. Fortunately, scientists have found a cure to avoid plants becoming sick. Why? Yam. Many people in the tropics, yam is a basic food source. It looks like a big potato. Nematodes like to eat yam so much they can destroy the whole root, leaving nothing to eat for the farmer and his family. Nematodes enter inside the roots suck the root until they become really fat and lay eggs. Plants sense the nematodes and react and form knots on the roots. 
That is why many people call this worm root knot nematode, Z, zebra. There is a fascinating story about nematodes and zebras. There is a very small nematode that invades zebras and horses through the mouth, nose, or wounds. Once inside, they move to the bloodstream, multiply rapidly, and may cause death of the zebra. If infection is recognized in time, the zebra can be treated successfully. Because few people know about this tiny nematode, and this nematode is resistant to drugs, the poor zebras and horses often die.